In this video, I'm going to look at the test for the carbonate ion. So in the bottle there, I've got some sodium carbonate solution. So hope you can read the uh, wording there on the, the label. And I've put some already into this test tube. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add to that some acid. And the acid I'm going to use is dilute hydrochloric acid. So we'll just put a pipette full of the acid into the carbonate solution and we'll see what happens. So you can see there's definite bubbling there, there's fizzing going on and so that's actually the test for the carbonate ion. You add some acid and you get fizzing. So we've got those aqueous carbonate ions from the sodium carbonate. We've got H plus ions from the acid. So we need two of those to combine with the two minus charge of the carbonate ion. And there's our carbon dioxide gas. So that's why we saw bubbles and we've produced water as well. I'm going to repeat the experiment now, but this time I'm going to send the gas that's produced, the carbon dioxide, from here into this smaller test tube here, which you can see I've written up contains lime water, which is the chemical aqueous calcium hydroxide. Hopefully you can see that something's actually happened in the test tube, the lime water test tube. So if I just take the delivery tube out and show you the test tube now, you can see it's gone cloudy. So that's just confirmation that this reaction has produced carbon dioxide gas. There's the chemical equation for the reaction. So the carbon dioxide gas was bubbled through the calcium hydroxide solution, so that's the lime water. It produces an insoluble substance which is calcium carbonate, as you can see there there's a solid state symbol now. That's why this test tube's gone cloudy and the other product is water. 